road, the shoulder mobility. Coach Barrett here, Equity Podcast, giving you tools to be fit for life. So we're talking shoulder mobility today. At Equity, we have, most of our members have a tendency to be over 30 years old. We have a lot of people coming in um, from running backgrounds, uh, you know, in their 40s coming in. And when you do a lot of running, you're, you're fit. You're really fit. However, we don't go overhead a lot. When, you know, we're just in this plane. We're not going overhead. We're not using those shoulders. Think about, we should be able to put our arms overhead with little to no issue, right? That is something that we want to have the capacity to do. To get something off the top shelf, to put something on top of the car, to reach for that thing, just to hang from, you know, trees or, you know, to play, you know, right? To do all those things. We should have the capacity to put our arms overhead. However, it's not something that comes up a lot when we're at work or when we're running for fitness. It's just not something that comes up all the time. So over the years, if we're not using that shoulder mobility, and especially if we're in a seated position all the time, you know, with a slightly rounded back and the shoulders forward, our shoulder mobility can really start to lack over years of not use and not maintaining that, that mobility. And then we find something like equity where we start going overhead and we find that if we don't have that position, you start forcing position that is bad. So, you know, when we're coaching those overhead positions, I want you to get as far as you can with some mild discomfort. If you are hurting, if you're forcing a bad position, that's not good. So if we want to gain that mobility, we have some work to do. We have to fight years and years of not mobility to gain that. And it's not something that comes very easily. It's going to take time. Um, there is a lot going on in that shoulder. We got muscles, we got tendons, we got ligaments, we got we got all of this stuff up in here. We got the pec, we got the shoulder, we got the trap, we got the back, we got the bicep and the tricep. There's so much going up in here. There's so many different limiting factors that we could have that it, it's going to take time to really increase that range of motion. So some of the movements that we really see people struggling with when we have shoulder mobility issues is you know, pressing overhead, you know, taking a dumbbell overhead, um, hanging from a barbell, or sorry, hanging from a pull-up bar, um, doing the Olympic lifts, um, doing something in a front rack where we have to hold a bar up, um, doing a handstand, um, all of these, doing wall walks, all these movements require a lot of range of motion of that shoulder. And if we lack that, it's going to make those movements very difficult. And if we lack that mobility and then force that position, that is how injury can happen. And we obviously don't want that. When we're dealing with these movements, we want to work on mechanics first. And if we don't have the mobility for those movements, that means we don't have the mechanics for that movement. So we have to work on those mechanics first. Once we see mechanics, then consistency, then intensity. So we, we need to work on that first one before just jumping into uh, those really difficult movements if, if we're lacking that mobility. So getting range of motion in your shoulders is going to be a tough journey. There's a lot going on, like I said, and we're going to have to focus. We're, we're going to need focus. We're going to need consistency, and we're going to need the ability to do boring things, and that's relative. You can change your mindset and tell yourself that it isn't boring and create that story, hey, this is going to help me get better. Maybe that's another podcast, but focused, boring work, and we need to do it consistently. That's going to be the big follow-through, that through thread uh, through this podcast. We really want to focus on those you're going to need those three traits in order to, inc to improve your mobility. So some of the things that I mentioned before, like, hey, what is the limiting factor, right? So we know, hey, I have some shoulder limitations. Where am I feeling that 
tightness? Where am I feeling that limitation, right? We could be in the lats. We, we actually see the, a lat issue in the front rack a lot. Is it the shoulders? Is it the traps? Is it your T-spine, right? Is it the front delt? Is it the pec? Is it the bicep? Like, what is it that's actually limiting us? And once we identify that issue, then we can start attacking it. Now, identifying it on your own can be really challenging. So asking a coach to help you find that out can be helpful. And even uh, a coach at Equity, we're going to be able to give you a little bit of guidance, but this might be the time where they might suggest you to see a physical therapist so that they can really identify the issues. Like, that's what they do. Hey, what, where am I actually lacking? And that might be something that has to come out of pocket, but there's a lot of really, really good physical therapists that work out the way that we work out and understand what we're trying to do and why we're trying to do it. And they can really help you identify your limiting factor and help you get some tools to, to get you where you want to get. But in general, once we have that limiting factor, or if you're just like, hey, I just want to focus on some, I'm going to focus on the shoulders or whatever. There's some steps that we need to do. So there's four, there's four kind of levels that we can work on. And you've kind of seen uh, in other podcasts where we've talked about this. The first one is you have to do extra work every day. Um, a, a really good uh, story and example of this is when we first opened Equity, I coached all of the classes to start. And I did the warm ups with each, each class. And pretty much every class I would do pass throughs, PVC pass throughs, grab a PVC and do pass throughs. I'd, you know, so I'd be doing, you know, 60 pass throughs a day. Um, and if you do 60 pass throughs a day, your shoulders are going to loosen up. You're going to see some results. Um, if, if you test and retest after a month, like 60 pass throughs a day, so just finding something to do every single day, it PVC pass throughs or, or some kind of other stretch hit that every single day, every day. And like I said, I was, I was coaching, you know, two to four classes a day, tw at least, you know, 10 to 20 reps per class. It adds up and, you know, overhead squats are one of my stronger movements and I really enjoy overhead squats. And I, I attribute it to all of those PVC pass throughs that I did in those early years. So commit to doing extra work every day for your, for that work. The next one is to have a specific program. Hey, you know, Picking one or two, just doing something every day, focusing five minutes every single day on shoulder mobility can help get you there. Um, but having some a structured program to help can help you get there. If you're interested in having a little bit more structure in your program, I'll have a link in, in the comments or just message me. And I have a program just like our upper body strength program. You're gonna have your movements for the week. You're gonna do those movements. There'll be a, it'll be a video for everything, and then there'll also be a logbook so you can track all of your stuff. Okay, so it this will be a little bit more. That strength program is two days a week for about thirty minutes uh, each session. This is gonna be a little more spread out, right? So we're gonna look for four days a week, but a little bit shorter duration. It's probably gonna be more like that ten minute range on that. So. Um, if you're interested in a little more guided program, it's free. Just reach out to me and I'll send that to you. The next level, uh, I kind of mentioned this before, is seeing a uh, physical therapist, seeing somebody who understands the type of working out that we do. Just going to a regular physical therapist, that can probably, it, it might be beneficial. It'll probably help. But finding somebody who understands how we work out, why we work out, who understands why we do that can be really beneficial. Like if you have somebody that only works with people that are, you know, 70 years old and having issues after a knee replacement or whatever, they might not understand us wanting to be able to do all the things that we want to be able to do. So finding somebody else might be able to do that. And if you need a recommendation for somebody in particular, 
we have a couple recommendations uh, of people in our area that we really like that work out like we do that understand what we're doing. So again, just reach out and uh, I can send you those recommendations. And then the last, the last thing, you know, we talk about this a lot, um, you know, with the strength program again is um, our individual design program. So that's something where, Hey, if we know we have a limitation, we're going to focus on that limitation because that's our low hanging fruit. Let's work that through. Let's really spend some time there and we'll provide an accessory program to help you get through that shoulder mobility. Um, and along with, um, Hey, we know we have the shoulder issue. We have wall walks today. Instead of doing a full wall walk, we're going to do this, but I really want you to focus on your head position, uh, getting that head through the window. Uh, but don't, Make sure don't let it hurt right make sure it stays uncomfortable it stays comfortable we don't want that sharp pain or hey we're not going overhead we're not going overhead today we're going to be doing this movement right designing that workout specifically for you and progress you through um that shoulder mobility or what whatever we're trying to achieve so getting some of that accessory work through individual design can be super helpful and so I'd extra work every day, have a mobility program. We have one, um, have, find a physical therapist that understands what we're doing. And then finally that, um, accessory work through our individual design program can be super helpful <clears throat> for any of these to be successful. You have to be consistent. Progress is going to be slow. It's going to be, it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to be super slow. But by doing it every day, by doing it every day consistently, by having that focus, having that consistency, by doing the boring work and understanding why you want to do these things, you're going to get there. It's just going to take some time. You spent years not going overhead not using full range of motion through your shoulder and that's not a bad thing it just it is what it is it's not good or bad it just is what it is let's start where we're at and let's move forward it's going to take time we spent years in that position it's going to take longer than a month to get you where you want to get consistency over time will get you there we're not going to fix it overnight so if you know somebody who has really tight shoulders, you think this might help them, please share it with them. If you have tight shoulders and you're looking to find something to help you out, reach out. We can talk, figure out, hey, what's the best method? What's the best, what, best way for me to get to where I want to get with my limited resources, with my limited time, whatever? Message, comment, let me know. As always, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to add a tool to your toolbox. Cheers.